Hey there, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a bypass tray and also add tray one to the new Creative Studio. And I'm going to be using my Sawgrass SG800 and Windows 10. If you're having issues printing, this could be the reason that you're having problems is because this is not there. Mine magically just disappeared and after playing around with it, I discovered that it needed to be added back on. So I'm going to show you how to add it back so that you won't have any more printing issues. So let's get started. So let's see I'm ready to print this image, my sweet Jesus, and this is going to be for the SG-800 and also using the new Creative Studio. So I'm going to come up, let's say that I'm working on this piece, on this uh, image, and I'm, I'm ready to print. Come up here to the top right hand corner. <clears throat> and you're going to see, you know, your printer's going to be up here. Here's the tray. A little drop down. And you're going to have your options. Tray 1 should always be there. Um, if it's not, I'm going to show you how to add it. Same thing for this one. If you use a bypass tray, um, this definitely has to be on here if you have a bypass tray. If it's not on there, again, I'm going to show you how to do both. So... I'm going to go ahead and close this and another thing this is going to be for Windows 10 I don't know I don't know the process I don't know how the difference is, I don't know what the difference is as far as iOS or MacBook or or Apple products I, I don't know anything about that this is for Windows 10 only so down here at the bottom on the left, you're going to type in printers and scanners. And up at the top on the left, you're going to click on it. And you're going to scroll down and find your printer. And in my case, it's the SG-800. Click on that, and you get these three little buttons. The middle one says manage, so click on manage. And up here to the left, I don't think you can see this on your screen. It's pretty loud on my end. But the middle option is Printer Properties. Click on that. And it's going to do some updating, communicating. And now here you have um, properties for the printer. You've got a bunch of tabs up here. So you want to go click on Accessories. Oh my gosh, my neighbor's dog's driving me nuts. So, here it shows the bypass tray is checked, which is good because I have it set on my bypass tray. If you're missing tray 1, you want to click on tray 1 and just update it or just click OK. Um, if I didn't have the bypass tray, it's checked off because I did select it and clicked OK. So, that's my... That's my... Uh, that tells me it is installed and I'm okay, I'm good. Now, I do recommend if you have a bypass tray, and this is for the SG-800 only, and I'm pretty sure the, what is it, the 500 and the 1000, no, the 1000, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure the 1000 is going to have it too. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same one. But anyway, I highly recommend that you use this bypass tray. Um, I, don't know if, I don't know if you can see where my mouse is or my cursor. This slides. This goes all the way to the end and then you can bring it to the middle. You can print mug paper by just squeezing it or sliding them together. And then you can adjust it to 8.5 by 11, 11 by 17 or any size. I also have... Um, 
Oh, but that's eight, it's eight and a half anyway. I use uh, one, two, three, four. I use five different sizes of paper. And I've even stuck little pieces in there. I don't recommend it because if your printer messes up, I, I'm not responsible. But in the tray, in tray one, I've manipulated this thing and stuck. And I do have a video on it showing you that you can stick little pieces in there. I have, I don't waste much, um, I mean the paper is not that expensive, but I don't waste very much paper. Um, you can refer back, <clears throat> I'll see if I can find some videos where I did that. I can, right now I can't think of which ones they were, but anyway, I recommend using the tray because these sliders go to the mug size and then all the way to the 13 by 19 uh, sheet. So I recommend doing that and only because when you're using the bypass tray you can print mug paper 8.5 by 11, 8.5 by 14 which is what I use for license plates and then the 11 by 17. The only thing, with, the only thing about that is you have to open the tray, you have to release two, um, two little um, not levers, two little latches from the sides so that you can extend the tray to make it 11 by 17 and at the same time you still have to move the little slider inside in order to, to print 11 by 17 so but rather than do all that it's just easier for me to use the bypass tray because I always just walk up to it slide move the sliders to whatever size I need put paper in there and I'm done print I don't want to go through all that extra step, especially if I have a whole bunch of papers or sheets that I need to print. So that's my recommendation. Use the uh, use the bypass tray. So anyway, at this point, you selected what you needed. You clicked OK. It doesn't hurt to click Update now. So once you're done, you just exit. Close it. Close that out. Now, what you will have to do is you will have to log out and you will have to restart your computer that's what's worked for me so log out restart your computer so it updates your settings I'm not sure why I have to do that but just just do it <laughs> so again from the print option to the tray option if these are missing, that's how you that's how you uh, add them back. Before we go, I want to show you how to make adjustments in tray one to get your 11 by 17 prints. Nothing too crazy, as I mentioned. It's just extra steps for me. This is why I totally recommend using the bypass tray to get all your prints and uh, just save time and money. It doesn't take a whole bunch of extra time but it is time consuming I struggled here because I was trying to hold the camera <laughs> but this is how you get your 11 and your 11 by 17 prints and as you can see the uh, they do slide out and then here as well to get all your sheets in there but I mean it's as I mentioned it's just extra time and I, I'd rather not fool with all of this if you can't afford a bypass tray, uh, I recommend getting one. They're like a, they're roughly 180, 180 bucks. Totally worth it. Um, but it's really no big deal if you don't have one. I just got one because I wanted to try it out and see, you know, what I, what all I can do with it. You don't have to have one. It's not mandatory, of course. It's just preference. So that's my preference is to have one. Um, Anyway, that's all I have for now. Enjoy the rest of the video. I hope this video was helpful to you all. Until next time.